Hi everyone, today we are going to learn how to use the new, totally redesigned Brave Shields. Brave Shields allow for a faster and more private browsing experience by blocking ads, trackers, and more. To demonstrate how Shields work, let's navigate to a website. I'm going to head over to ESPN.com. The Shields button, represented by a little lion icon, can be found in the top right of your URL bar. When you click on it, a panel will pop up. Brave Shields are on by default, but you can put them down at any time you like. At the top of the dashboard, you can see how many ads and trackers have been blocked on this particular site. Below that, you can see how many encrypted connections have been made. But in this case, there are none. You can actually click on either of these figures to expand them for a list of the particular elements that were either blocked or upgraded. Below that, you have your cookie control menu, where you can choose to block all cookies, block only third-party cookies, or allow cookies. Then you have your script blocking menu where you can choose whether or not you want to block scripts. Finally, you have your device recognition menu with similar options. It's important to note that this particular dashboard is site specific. Notice at the top of your Shields panel where it says Shields up for this site and ESPN.com in large text. To edit your global default Shield settings, click the text at the bottom here to open up your Shield settings in your browser preferences. Here you can find the same options we just covered, but changes to these settings will apply to all sites. Last thing, if you navigate to a site while your shields are up and you notice that it isn't loading properly because the site depends on various scripts or cookies, you can try turning off your shields panel or playing with some of the controls. That'll usually get you back up and running. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.